So let's look at some spelling rules. Because most of the time we simply add ed to the infinitive, to the verb. Washed. Wash. Washed. Cleaned. Wash. Clean. Washed. Cleaned. ed. Nice and simple. However, if the last letter already ends in the E, and then we just add D. So dance. Dance, we add D. Arrive. Arrive, D. He arrived at the party late. He danced with her. Very good. Nice and simple. Where it gets a bit different is with with the verbs that end with Y. So, if it ends with a Y, we replace it with I E D. Tried. Try. I tried to tell him. Cry. Cry. She cried. Oh, she cried all night. He did not cry. A negative statement there. He did not cry. Fry. Like with a food. Fry. Fried. I bought some fried food. He fried the potatoes. Ah. But where it gets a little more crazy is the final syllable. The final, the final sound made within the verb. So stop. One syllable. But the consonant, vowel, consonant ending. So here we have T O P drop R O P. So it's consonant, vowel, consonant. Consonant, vowel, consonant. So the last three letters T O P R O P. So what we do is we double the last consonant, which is the P, and we, then we add E D. So drop turns into dropped. D R O P P E D. Dropped. Stop. S T O P P E D. So there's a consonant, vowel, consonant. Double the consonant and add E D. Stop turns into dropped. Uh, stop turns into stopped. Drop turns into dropped. Very efficient. That is a tricky one. That is worthwhile remembering because you see some people, very few people, native speakers, that might not make that that might make the mistake of not doubling the consonant. Generally, people still get the idea, but it is worthwhile knowing the rules and being aware of them. Because this is how the verbs change in the past tense. But most of the time, it's simply add ed. Wash, washed, clean, cleaned, walk, walked. Talk, talked. Sometimes there's simply an E, dance, danced. Arrive, arrived. But these two, these two are the ones that will set you apart in the IELTS, in your communication skills and beyond. If you can articulate tried correctly and cried and fried correctly with the IED, I'll put you one step ahead. And even understanding the consonant, vowel, consonant ending helps you to get ahead even more so. So speaking of ahead, let's keep going.